Hey, what's up? I'm Ivan. I'm Ashton. And welcome to the very first episode of Face to Face. So this show is going to teach you everything you know, need to know about video conferencing and then some. Ashton, why don't you tell us about how many carts we have here in EPISD? In the fall of 2012, we're putting in 55 of these life-size express systems in all the elementary schools. All the EPISD middle schools and high schools already have them. So let's get to know your life-size express unit a little bit more, huh? Here at the top, we have the camera. And this is where you're going to want to point your remote control because the IR receiver is up here. And then we have our nice big 42 inch monitor with the controls located on the side. And then we have our microphone, which will allow the people on the far end to hear us. Ashton, why don't you talk to us a little bit about this cabinet? Well, the cabinet's a little different in the elementary schools. All the elementary schools will need to open the cabinet and they'll need to turn this red switch on. And it looks like it's going to the reset position, but it's really going to the on position. So you'll turn that on and it'll turn red. And then if you'll notice, you've got this fancy drawer here, and that's where your life-size remote is. We'll talk about more about the remote a little bit later. All right. So the first two things you need to do is plug in the cart and plug in the ethernet cable. Those are located on the back end. All right, so I've plugged in the unit, I've plugged in the ethernet cable, and I still don't have a picture on my screen. Well, perhaps I need to turn the monitor on. So most of the monitor screen on buttons are either on the bottom or the side, and that should turn on. Now that the unit is booted up, let's go ahead and explore the home screen. What you're gonna wanna look for right away is uh, this little indicator down here to be lit up green. Because if it's lit up red, that means that you don't have any in in internet connectivity, which means you're not connected to the internet. So if these little indicators down here are lit up green, that means that you're connected to the internet, you have a good signal, and you're ready to make calls. Up here at the top, you want to look to see that the name of your school is here. Notice it's Schuster Elementary. Thanks a lot for letting us shoot here, Schuster. And then also right next to that is something called an IP. This is a number that uh, lets you navigate the internet. You're going to want to make sure that there is a uh, number actually here and it's not just a series of zeros because again, a series of zeros means that you're not properly connected to the internet. All right, so I'm on my home screen. If you'll notice, I've got my redial list. These are schools that I've recently called that I can just redial from my remote control. And then down at the bottom, we have a screen that corresponds to the color buttons on the remote. So notice I've got a directory there. If I hit the yellow button on my remote control, it's going to take me the directory of all the schools in EPISD. And it's really easy to navigate through the through the menu with your arrow keys, but of course I wouldn't want to go from all the way from the A's down to Z's, so I would use my left arrow to go all the way down to scroll through to maybe look for um, White Elementary. I'd hit OK, and then uh, I can scroll over there. And now you're probably wondering, well, how do I get back to Brown Middle School? Well, if you'll notice, I have this up one level, the yellow key. Sometimes these colors change depending on what screen it's on. So be sure and look at what it says and what your remote says. So if I just hit the yellow button, notice I go up one level and I go back. All right, so that's how you navigate through the directory. And then to get back to my home screen, I hit the little key on my remote that looks like a house. Of course, I pointed at the camera. So let's get into the basics of the remote control. If you look here at the top, we start off with a call and hang up button. Those are pretty self-explanatory. You use the call button to place the call and the hang up button to end the call. Then below that, you have these four color keys which correspond to the quick guide menu located on the bottom of your monitor. If you're not seeing your quick guide menu, remember to press the yellow key because that'll bring up the quick guide. And also note that the, uh, they're not always, they don't always have the same function. So depending on what screen you're on, or whether or not you're in a call, these, yellow, uh, these color coordinated buttons may switch functions. In the center of that, you have your navigation wheel. This is how you make choices in your menu or navigate through the menus you, and control your camera. You uh, up is to navigate up, down is to navigate down, and so forth. And you select with the OK button. Below that, you have the home button, which takes us to the home screen, which we just introduced to you. Then you have your mute button, which is indicated by the microphone with the line through it. Then you have some button, uh, a button that changes your controls from near to far. We'll talk about that a little later on. 
Below that, we have the buttons that control what you see on the screen. These button, if you, uh, this button here will change the layout of the screens that you're looking at. The input button chooses which input you're using, whether it's the camera or the PC that you've connected to your unit. Then below that, we have the, number, the numbers that you'll use to dial in IP addresses and also set presets. And also note that your unit will come with this quick reference guide that will go over all of the information about the remote that we're giving you today. All right, so let's just go over how you control your camera on your unit. All right, and you notice this key right here looks like the camera key. Looks just like the camera up here. You click that and you see the camera full screen. All right, then you can use your arrow keys to pan one direction or pan the other direction. And then on the side of the remote, you've got your zoom keys. So we could zoom into our camera operator or we could zoom out. We'd like to thank you so much for joining us on the very first episode of Face to Face. For more instructional videos, make sure you check out the EPISD TV studios on Facebook, YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. And now let's take a look at Guillaume Middle School, a success story in video conferencing. And we'd like to make a video at your school. Bye. Bye. Video conferencing is cool because you get to like experience what our people have to say across the world. Video conferencing has uh, helped, uh, helped our students go beyond these four walls. Uh, a lot of these students will never have the opportunity to do their in being economically disadvantaged to travel to other parts of, of the country, much less parts of the world. So video conferences that actually allowed us to reach out to different parts and, and, and brought the experience into the classroom. Video conferencing has it's, it's been it's been a very neat and interesting tool for us this year to collaborate and interact with students and professionals from all over the not just the city, but the world, really. It's been a very, very neat tool. Well, the beauty of video conferencing is that, is that you can connect literally anywhere in the world, whether it's here at the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio, whether it's uh, the Street Sea Trek Center in Florida, whether you want to take your students to um, Australia, to the Great Barrier Reef. That's the beauty of video, is you don't have to leave the time to do that through a few clicks of a button. Uh, you can input a couple numbers and connect your students in your classrooms to these cultural institutions all across the country. We had the opportunity to actually go into the International Space Station uh, where we were able to, to see some of the astronauts just floating in space. Uh, additionally, they, they exposed us some of the experiments that they were uh, currently conducting. Um, we had the opportunity to go into a, a dig, archaeological dig, Video conferencing breaks the monotony of, uh, of just a traditional classroom. Open up opportunities for us to talk to other schools in other places, in other areas of the um, United States, and other schools in Texas, and for the students to collaborate on their learning. Video conferencing is extremely easy to, to collaborate with other teachers. Uh, there's, uh, we have a, a, every middle school in our district, including our high schools, have video conferencing equipment. We did our first video conference, and we talked about career cruising, what careers needed and what education is needed for those careers. And we talked to a school in New York, and that was very enlightening because they had certain opinions about us and we had certain opinions about them, and they were able to um, communicate those ideas to each other. It was great. The last conference we did, it was very uh, informative. We were able to ask questions of uh, two professional musicians and, and ask them how they were in their professional lives, how they came to where they are in their careers and how satisfied they are and what a reward it is to be able to express that to the kids. Try video conferencing. Uh, it will enhance your students' ability to talk in front of a camera and for them to open up because once we found out that at first they were shy, but then when they started to open up, we couldn't shut them up. I like the video conferencing because you can learn a lot from it and you can you can learn a lot from it and it's a lot of fun because you can talk to other people from different places and you don't even have to leave where you are. You can learn a lot more from it. Video conferencing is awesome. Um, especially for these kids, you know, being in Segundo Barrio, they're not really connected to anything like that. As an interactive tool, the video conferencing is extremely valuable and important and 
inspiring. You know, it's really, really nice to have. And the, the wonderful thing about this is that there's one place that you can kind of find all this information from, and that's the Center for Interactive Learning and Collaboration at CLC.org. I would say don't hesitate to use it because uh, the technology's there. This is the first time I've used it, and I'm so excited. I don't want to stop using it. I think use it and enjoy it. Video conference, make sure you do a test call.